Uh, <laughs> hey guys, so I just realized this is kind of like a full circle video, really, isn't it? Like, my first one was in a car, funnily enough, here, after having I just run a run, and I'm back here, having just run a run, but it's really exciting because it's my first run back in a month, and I just did... 6Ks, and I ran the whole thing, and I wasn't screaming in pain at the end of it. That was really cool and really exciting, and you know what? It, I just, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's really cool, it's really exciting, but at the same time, it goes to prove that if you listen to your body and if you listen to health professionals and follow their advice that you know you can actually you know it, things work out and I'll be the first to admit that it was shit like I not being able to run for this last month has been horrific like it's done horrible things to my mental health um Especially considering that this has been a really, really shit month um, for me. A, a lot of, a lot of craps just been coming up from my past, and um, and and I know I've got some pretty serious emotional issues. Like I, I know that I have a great deal of issues with letting go um, of things in my past. I I know that. Um, but you know, and run. But the thing is, running was my therapy, and not being able to do that. For the month has just made a lot of those demons really come back and really haunt me and really hurt me over this last month. Um, so for this moment to be able to come back and have a run and be able to complete it, be able to complete six Ks, um, like no out amazing, hugely, incredibly awesome pace, uh, no records, no PBs or anything like that. Just simply, I did the run, I got it finished. And that was just so important. And yeah, it just, it's really like, really brought a lot of home, a lot home for me that, you know what? I'm, I'm still here. I'm back. And I was really impressed that, <laughs> that I, I could actually run it too. That was like really cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the thing guys where, you know, every now and again, you have to listen to your body. And that's, that's part of this journey when, whenever, whatever journey you're on, whichever phase you're in of your journey. But the one that, the, where I'm at for mine is I've learned that it's really important that you have to take that time, that you have to listen for those cues for, because they're important. Um, this body's the only one you got, the only one you get, um, and it's important that you look after it, but you know, you got to push yourself, but you've also got to look after it too. So yeah, that's <sighs> really good to be back. It felt really, really good to be able to do that run again. So there you go. Anyway, I need to now go because I'm on nights, so I need to go get ready for work um, and do stuff for my other video channel, for my other YouTube channel, because that's been getting a bit neglected of late. So yes, anyway, so I wanted to check in with you guys. I uh, say so hope you're all doing well, but I can tell you what, I am feeling so much better having knowing that I can do a run, even if it was just an easy one. I'm back to the physio to make sure he's okay with that tomorrow, and we'll go from there. But yes, so I just want to do that. So thanks for sticking with me on this journey, guys. Thanks for being there, and I look forward to see you on the next episode of the vlog. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.